everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. <laughs> Midnight, you are so silly. Oh, hi there, little readers. Me and Midnight were just. <gasps> Did you hear that? Midnight, did you hear that? You'll be sure to see a smile on me and Midnight's face when we can hear a rumble and a tumble coming down the fireplace. What could it be? What do you see? Is it a new book addressed to me? <gasps> Why, yes, it is indeed a new story for Storytime Sandy. Well, let's see what it is. Come on, Midnight, let's open it. Wow! This new story is called Odo Nada, the Flying Jewel of Maiden Grass Pond. And it was written by Barbara Gervais San Zamino and illustrated by Stephen McGinnis. Hey, Midnight, are you ready? Little readers, you ready? All right, here we go. Odo Nada was a dragonfly who didn't look like the other dragonflies living on Maiden Grass Pond. He didn't have blue and green iridescent wings like they did. His wings were colorless and dull. None of the other dragonflies wanted to be his friend. They didn't like that he looked different. Every time Odonata tried to play with them, they ignored him and pretended he was not there. Oh, that's not very nice, is it, Midnight? Little readers, do you see all the other dragonflies? and their wings are blue and green. And there's Odonata, and his wings don't have any color. There was, however, one dragonfly who didn't ignore Odonata. His name was Draco. He was a humongous blue hawker dragonfly who did mean and despicable things to the insects living around the pond, especially Odonata. Hey, Odo no color. Where did you get those hideous wings? Drago would call out. Then, without warning, he would fly right towards Odonata, trying to knock him into the dangerous water below. <gasps> Do you see? There's Odonata, and he's looking mighty worried. And there's Drago. He looks like a big blue bully. A new day brought an overcast sky and rainy weather to Maiden Grass Pond. The rain clouds made Odonata's wings look grayer and duller than usual. But they also gave him a good reason to stay hidden among the reeds and away from Drago. Odonata knew how dangerous it was for dragonflies to fly in the rain. If a dragonfly got its wings wet, it would fall from the sky into the perilous water below, or worse into the hungry mouth of Croaker the Bullfrog, who was perched on his lily pad, waiting for a snack. Oh my goodness! Midnight, do you see this bullfrog? He's trying to eat the dragonflies! Odonata watched from a distance as the other dragonflies finished up their game of tack. They were chasing each other playfully around the pond when suddenly, BAM! Drago crashed right into the middle of them, sending dragonflies tumbling in all directions. They were upset with Drago, but none of them had the courage to say anything to him. Then, as the last dragonfly managed to straighten its wings, the rain began to fall. Everyone quickly darted into the maiden grass to get out of the rain. Everyone, except Drago. Showing off as usual, Drago flew straight up into the rain clouds. Odonata and the others watched and waited for Drago to return. The rain began to come down harder. Something must be wrong, thought Odonata. He should have come back by now. Where could he be? Do you see all the raindrops falling from the sky? I sure hope Drago's not in trouble. Then something incredible happened. Odonata spread his colorless wings, flew out of the reeds, through the rain, and up toward the clouds. 
The other dragonflies watched in horror. Surely Odonata's wings would get drenched with rain and he would fall helplessly into Maiden Grass Pond and become a tasty meal for Kroger the Bullfrog. What is Odonata doing, Midnight? Yikes! But Odonata was only thinking of one thing, saving Drago. He flew higher and higher until he reached the edge of the storm. Odonata hesitated for a second, closed his eyes, and flew into the ominous rain clouds. Once on the other side, Odonata opened his eyes. There was a colorful mist all around him. The sun's rays were shining through the falling raindrops, creating tiny, multicolored prisms in the air. He was inside the most magnificent rainbow he had ever seen. Wow. Look at all those colors. <gasps> Look at this rainbow. Little readers, do you know what colors are in the rainbow? There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Let's get back to the story. Odonata flew through the many colors of the rainbow, searching and calling out to Drago. There was no sign of him. Odonato stopped to rest on the edge of the yellow mizzle. While clinging there on the fringe of the rainbow, he thought he heard his name. He looked around and there, huddled on the bottom of the blue mist, was Drago. Little readers, do you see Drago? Doesn't he look sad, Midnight? I hope he's okay. How did you know where I was? asked Drago. I saw you fly up towards the rain clouds, said Odonata. But how were you able to fly in the rain? Drago asked, confused. My wings are soaked through. Odonata could not answer him. He didn't know how he was able to fly in the rain, but he knew what he had to do next. Climb on my back and hold on, said Odonata. Let's get you out of here. The rain had finally stopped, but Drago continued to cling to Odonata. He was still too weak to fly on his own. Slowly, the two of them made their way back to Maiden Grass Pond. Wow, that's really, really nice of Odonata. Don't you think so, Midnight? The other dragonflies were gathering below. They could not believe it. Odonata had put his own life in danger to save Drago, even though he had been so mean to him. As soon as Odonata landed and Drago slid off his back, the dragonflies flew over to them. Then a strange thing happened. Look at your wings, gasped Drago. Odonata brought his wings forward to look at them. He was speechless. His wings looked like majestic stained glass windows painted with radiant colors of the rainbow. They were the grandest wings he had ever seen. Wow, look at his beautiful wings. His wings has all of the colors of the rainbow, do you see? Orange, purple, yellow, red, magnificent. As the dragonflies admired Odonata's new wings, Drago touched his wing to Odonata's to thank him for saving his life. Then, he apologized to everyone for being so unkind and promised to never be mean again. Odonata never did figure out how he was able to fly in the rain or how his wings became so radiant, but he knew he was happier than he had ever been spending his days playing with Drago and the other dragonflies. One sunny afternoon, as Drago and Odonata were flying around the pond, Drago called out, Hey Odonata, where did you get those sparkling wings? They make you look like a flying jewel gliding in the sunshine. Odonata smiled. From that day forward, Odonata was known as the flying jewel of Maiden Grass Pond. Look how happy he is. So happy and so pretty. The end. Yay. <laughs> Well, I loved that story. Did you like it, little readers? You did? How about you, Midnight?
You wanna save it? I know you do. Midnight loves saving all the stories that get sent to us so that we can read them whenever we want to. Thanks for reading with us, little readers. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Midnight and I sure do love reading with all of you. <gasps> you know what else we would love to read? A special secret message written just by you. So grab a grown up and ask them to help you write a message for us down below. And hey, before you go, let's read another story together. All you have to do is click that box right there. Let's go! Well, aren't you coming? Come on, click the box and I'll see you in the next story.